We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. As I was tooling down the highway in search for warmer weather, it dawned on me that I never showed the clip of how we assembled our lightweight Azusa Light wheels. Now these are nylon wheels, 60 to 70 percent lighter than aluminum uh, version of the same type of wheel. And what a great time to take a look at that film and see how these lightweight wheels, which are a great fit for the Afforda plane, how they go together. Let's watch. We're going to take a look at putting together a wheel. This is an example of an Azusa wheel. This one's nylon plastic and a tire here and an inner tube and the wheel is in halves so we have a few bolts to put them together bolts and nuts so it's actually pretty simple uh, first step is to identify the wheel half that has the cutout for the stem the little slot here so we're going to put that aside at the moment. The other wheel does not have the slot. And what we want to do then is to take the tire and simply place it over the wheel like that. Okay. And the next step then is we're going to insert the tube into the tire. Now before we do that it's always a good idea to add a little bit of talcum powder on the tube. This helps it prevent from sticking and folding in on itself when we apply air. Because rubber sticks to rubber inside that. So a little talcum powder. I got the uh, valve stem pointing up and basically I'm going to take a moment now and stuff it inside of the tire. And of course the wheel is on the bottom also. Okay, so it kind of looks like that with the stem sticking up. Now I'm going to go get my air supply and very slightly inflate this just so that it uh, starts filling up with air and taking some shape. Not very much though because we do have to put the other half on at some point here. Alright, I added just a little bit of air so it started to take some shape. Now we're going to add the other half of the wheel on there. We just want to make sure that the rubber inner tube is not getting stuck between the edge of the two wheel halves when we put them in. And also the slot from this side needs to go around the valve stem. And the three holes in the wheel need to match up with the holes down there. So you may have to shift the inner tube around just a little bit to make that happen. So go through a hole like this because the slot is in right underneath this hole there. And you don't really have to move the inner tube around, you move the back wheel. The back wheel can still rotate. So we're simply going to rotate this until the other half matches up the holes. Then once you have the holes, so you can see through the three holes all the way through, you're going to take the fastener, this has a slotted head, 
and it simply goes through the hole and on the back side half of the wheel will go a nylock nut and that will be captured by the plastic in the wheel. I'll give a look here as soon as we get one started. And here's an example of the nut that's captured and then the bolt where I'm simply going to add another nut and the plastic surrounding holds the nut and so we just have three of them and tighten them up evenly. You can also take a visual look at the seam and see that there's no inner tube caught in the middle of it and then just go around and tighten all three of them up. You have to find an old-fashioned flat-bladed screwdriver to do that. And eventually they'll all be tightened. You don't want to overdo anything. It's just a plastic wheel. And now we can add a little air. Remember these don't take much pressure. Mine says no more than 20 PSI. It says that not on the tube or the tire, but the wheel. Lightweight plastic wheels, they're not made for a lot. And we'll fill them up. And we'll get a gauge, but that's about it. And we'll wash this talcum powder off. Very easy. Uh, very nice built-in bearings on each side of the wheel. So everybody, please, back to building or driving or whatever it is you do best.